Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to Win a Home on Afternoon Express, exclusively on SABC3. Private property has stuck to its promise of providing us with advice on the different aspects of property on estates. Joining us in the loft today is Lepoy Mohatle. Uh, she's head of home loans digital at Nedbank, and she's going to chat to us about how to finance property on an estate. Welcome to our loft. Thanks for having me. So let's first start with why estates are becoming so popular. Are you guys seeing on your home loan digital platforms, are people applying for loans to move on to estates? I would say yes. Um, we've seen far more um, home loan applications for um, development loans, which is your um, residential estate living loans, and your vacant lands as well as your building loans. So I think it's also because of the accessibility and the convenience of it all. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of these home loan applications are coming from your um, first time home buyers, but mostly couples. So people who are starting a family or mm. whose family is getting a bit bigger, they're moving into that estate living purely to have access to certain schools that yeah. are in the estate. And of course, I mean, the, the convenience of having your gym and a restaurant and the spa all in one space just makes it absolutely ideal. So there's a lot for us to understand there. I mean, there are three different ways that one can buy on estates and almost get them loaned for. Am I understanding that correctly? Yes, you're correct. Okay. So essentially, there are three different ways. The first is to get a vacant land bond. So that is just to acquire the land where there's no building on it and okay. then perhaps build at a later stage. Because you can get a tent if you're really poor and you can like, like me, I can buy the land, but I can't buy the home. So I'm just going to build a tent. Absolutely. Done. Absolutely. And then the second option is to get the land as well as a building package at the same time. Okay. So so that's what we often term as a building loan um, and it comes almost like a plot and plan as well. Okay. I'll tell a little bit about that later. And then the last way is if there is an already existing property that you have your eye on in a particular state, then you just buy it as a normal home loan. Okay, amazing. Mm. And then what about sectional titles? Because I mean, a lot of people are trying to buy into sectional titles. They like mm. the sort of affordability of it all. Mm -hmm. um, they understand that as a sort of plug and play kind of system that they yes. like. Um, is there a different way to finance those? Um, that's actually a very good question. So sectional titles are really accessible, you're right. Um, and particularly particularly in places like Gauteng and the Western Cape, um, where you've got uh, urban areas like Cape Town and Johannesburg, it's quite ideal um, for, for clients who want to apply. Sectional titles, um, there isn't really a different way of applying for a home loan for a sectional title, but just be aware of the fact that it's part of your shared use. So you don't just buy the building on its own, you're buying the opportunity to actually share in some of the amenities that are around it, I guess. That's yeah. It, yes. So the idea <laughs> then behind buying an intersectional title is that you avoid the transfer duty. No, not necessarily. Oh. So if you're buying a fully completed building or unit within a sectional title and you're buying it from an existing seller, then transfer duties will apply. Okay. However, if you're buying it directly from the developer, then there will be no transfer duties. Ooh, so find these deals soon while these developers are building these new plots, buy in early so that all these uh, sort of duties get avoided and you get to save yourself a bit of money. Absolutely. And the developers have really great packages um, that they can offer to customers and the banks can actually facilitate that as well. Stunning. Mm. Now you mentioned you wanted to expand a bit more on, on, on building and, mm. and those kinds of loans because mm. that's a very specialized way of, 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 of loaning from a bank yes. uh, to build. H yes. How does that work? Um, so building loans work slightly differently to your normal home loan in the sense that the bank does not pay out the money at once upon registration. So what usually happens is You'll come to us as a bank and say, I'd like to apply for a home loan, but I want to build on it, so I don't have a complete building yet. Okay. Um, the bank will say, yes, you're good for it. Um, and then once the bond registers, they will start making what we call progress payments. And they pay out as and when the building gets completed. So for example, your builder will have started the foundations, for example, yeah. and then the bank will issue a first drawdown of those payments. And then when the builder gets to, for example, window level, then another progress payment goes out up until I that see. building is completely finished and you as the client are happy with it. Okay, let's just quickly ask you something that's slightly off, off, the, off mm. the books a little bit, but I mean, when you're trying to buy on an estate, uh, do banks look into where you're trying to build this property or buy the property as a way of affording a bond or, or to build or is it purely just about the person that's going to be paying it off? 
So we look largely at the individual. So um, what your previous credit behavior was like, how you pay your, your debts, how mm. you service your, your income versus your expenses. Um, but we do also look at the area in which you want to buy okay. property. So we'll look at things like, is it close to certain schools or parks? Um, is there a functioning sewage system, which would surprise you a lot of the time, sometimes there I'm isn't. Sure. <laughs> um, so those are some of the things that we look at, okay. yes. So buying in the right kinds of estates could also help you in that process too, which is awesome. So Absolutely, yes. Um, the bank has um, very good relationships with a lot of the developers. Um, so they would do due diligence with the various developers and um, make sure that the development caters for suitable lending. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. As a new time and a sort of young person trying to enter into that buying of, of the property market, I've learned a lot from you today. So thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Sure. Well, there you have it. The lowdown on how to finance your dream property on an estate. The other option is, of course, to win your dream home. No finance needed. And you can only do that if you enter the Winner Home Grand Prize Competition on the private property website in which you stand a chance to win one of the multi-million rand homes currently being finished by the design duos on the Eye of Africa estate. All you have to do is log on to privateproperty.co.za, click on that Winner Home logo and answer a very easy question. Now it's time for us to take a quick break. When we return, it's time for those duos to stop lounging about.